Welcome to Cooking with the Wombat. So fall is here. It's November. We're in the middle of the second wave. We've been on sabbatical for about six months during the heat of the summer when it's not as much fun to cook. But now that fall's here and there are all kinds of new things to cook and the holidays are coming, we're gonna start making some more videos, especially since we're probably about to go on lockdown again, so we'll have plenty of time to cook. Today, we're going to make Katherine Hepburn's brownies. And I'm talking about the Katherine Hepburn, Hollywood Katherine Hepburn. And even though she was a tremendous actress, her brownie recipe is really out of sight. It is gooey, it is rich, it is chocolatey, it is delicious, it is patrician in only the way a Katherine Hepburn brownie could be. Now let's kick it on over to the stove and we'll start putting this recipe together. Okay, so we have one stick of butter melting here in a saucepan. And some people would do this in a double boiler, but I'm not gonna mess around with a double boiler. Just keep the heat low and let that butter melt. You want it melted all the way through, but it do you don't want it to get too hot. Okay, while that butter is melting, we are gonna combine one cup of sugar, one quarter of a cup of flour. And I know that does not sound like a lot of flour, but it really doesn't need a lot of flour. And I like to whisk it in a little bit, the sugar and the flour, whisk them together a little bit so they get mixed pretty well. I'm using turbinado sugar here, not just plain old white sugar, um, because I think it has a little bit more flavor. I'm gonna give it a good pinch of salt, because salt goes really nicely with chocolate. Okay, so our butter is melted. Now we are we have a cup of unsweetened cocoa. Cocoa means unsweetened cocoa, not cocoa that has sugar mixed in it like you used to make hot cocoa. So remember that when you're shopping. So we're gonna whisk this together. I wanna check the heat on this. I'm just gonna do it like this, but it feels like it's probably about 100 degrees. If it's too hot, it'll cook your eggs, which is not what you want. So we wanna add these eggs, whisk them in one at a time. This is really just almost like room temperature warm. We're gonna add one more, same drill. Now we add our sugar, flour, and salt mixture. Pull this together. I think most people, and I'm one of them, I expected it to look more like cake batter. It's got a very different texture to it. Okay, now I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of vanilla. I use this, uh, vanilla bean paste, which is a liquid with the seeds in it, the vanilla seeds in it. All right, so here we have an eight inch by eight inch greased glass baking dish. And we are just gonna pour this brownie mixture into the dish. And we'll kind of spread it around here a little bit. See, it's real thick. Now we're gonna pop this in the oven at 325 degrees and bake for 30 to 35 minutes. You wanna watch this. You wanna be really careful with this. You do not wanna overcook it, but you also do not wanna over undercook it. You don't want it to be raw. Now into the oven we go for 30 to 35 minutes. Do not overcook. Put a little scoop of ice cream on there, just to make it taste that much better. Oh yeah. Perfecto. Really good. Like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, make a brownie. It's so easy. I'm gonna give this recipe a 10 on the wombat meter 